What's going on guys and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to install LSPDFR for GTA 5. Let's get right into it. So I know I already made a video about how to install LSPDFR for GTA 5, but it was like, it, it was not that good. But um, st I'm still thankful for all, all your support. It was awesome. Jesus Christ, I got next day after i uploaded it i already had like 300 views jesus christ that was jesus holy motherfucking jesus christ thank you guys jesus christ and i'm always saying jesus christ i don't know but oh, jesus christ oh god i just said it again okay let's just yeah stop with this video so i'm gonna make it a little bit more advanced so you understand more about how to yeah like install lspdfr so let's get right into it the first thing you need to do is to go into your browser and then go to lspdfr.com. Now you are going into mods and then you click on lspdfr. It should come now. Oh yeah, here we go. And yes, that's perfect. So then you scroll a little bit down. Okay, you do not scroll a little bit down. That's so oh, Jesus Christ. Huh, it was even not an lspdfr. Jesus Christ. Okay, now, now we are on the right place. Jesus Christ awesome and i just said jesus christ again okay all right so once you then clicked on lspdfr here you just scroll a little bit down until you see this little lspd first response button just click on that guy and then wait and then scroll a little bit down again and then click on download this file agree and download and then just take the manual zip here so let's download it all right and then you say, I'm not a robot. <laughs> I'm not. Oh, Jesus Christ. So like all square street signs. Jesus Christ. Okay, I think that's it. No, that wasn't it. Okay, okay, okay. Jesus. Oh, for God's sake. Uh, okay. Oh, wait. And this and this. And here we go. So, and now click on download. So, now it will download the file. Just wait a second. All right. Save it. And yeah, then you just wait for the download until it's done. So, it's finished. Okay, all right. Now we're done, but just close it. We are not ready yet to install and play LSPDFR. So, once you then have installed LSPD First Response, you just close the window and then you go to this website, rageplugandhook.net. Link is in the description and you just click on Downloads. And then you just will install this little kind of, yeah, download kind of thing of Rage Plugin Hook. So now we will download it if it would do that. All right. And then we say save. And now we are already done with that. So just close it. We still need a few things to download. So now we have um, scripthook5.net. Just go to this link. Link is in the description. All links are in the description. Just if you're wondering um so yeah then you just click on script hook dot oh yeah script hook 5.net save and it's done just close it down then we go to this website link is in the description as i already said um and then click on download right here just download it and here we go and now that's also finished so now we only need two more things we have to install and that's um, Microsoft Net Framework 4.5.2 and Whistle C++. So just download them both. Just click on download and you do the same with the C++. Um, you don't have to place it anywhere. It will just install it automatically on your PC. You just need this to play LSPDFR so you can yeah, play it, you know. So um, when, when you're then done with it, you just close these two tabs. And now we actually can begin to install LSPDFR. So let's go in here. Um, I have mounted GTA 5, the folder here. But um, you might have to find the path. Mine is on D, programs. I'm sorry, it's in Danish. Steam. And then uh, Steam apps right there. Come on. And then we have GTA 5 here. And um, yeah, that's where GTA 5, the folder, is placed. So I recommend that you really um, 
copy all the files you have right now and then make a new folder and call it GTA 5 or whatever. Because um, if you now fuck it up when you're installing OSPDFR, you still have the the clean folder of GTA 5. So let's install all this shit. So I go into downloads and you see these are the four files we need to get LSPDFR working. So what you're gonna do is, if we just will do this, here we go. Then uh, you open up LSPDFR, manual install. I'll just drag it over here. And oh, oops. And then you just uh, take all these files here and then you just drag them over to GTA 5. Don't put it on any folders here or that stuff, just out here in the, on the blank side. And then it will install it. Um, but I'm not gonna do it because I have to replace it then you see here. So I'm um, just place it there and then it should be installed, but you still can play LSPDFR. Um, so yeah, now you just close this. Oh my God, it's fucked up. Okay, now you just close this LSPDFR manual install and then you open up Rage plugin hook. Here you also just take all these files. Oh, Jesus Christ. Take them and then drag them over to GTA 5 main folder. And then it says to you that you have to replace the files and you have to replace the files. Just do it, replace the files, otherwise it will not work. So I'm not gonna do it because I already have LSPDFR. Um, oops. And now we are going to script hook five. Just take that one, go into bin and then take these three files and then drag them over to your GTA five main folder. Okay, all right, I'm not gonna replace it, but just place it into your GTA 5 folder and then close it down. And then we take scriptdook5.net. Take these three files and then drag them over to your GTA 5 main folder. And now you are actually ready to start the game or not really, we still have to make some things. So now if I will take this, you see, if you scroll a little bit down, I know I have a lot of mods here, but scroll a little bit down until you see this icon here, Rage Plugin Hook. You can do what, what you want. You can put it on your desktop, but that's what we need to start LSPDFR. So if you click right click on it and then say send to and then on the desktop, uh, then it will pop up here and then call it whatever you want. But I'm going to delete it here because I already have it here. I call it LSPDFR. You can do what you want. If you don't want it on the desktop, just let it stay in uh, your GTA 5 folder and then start it from here. Then just double click on it. So now I'm gonna double click on it and you see, then this pops up. Um, I know I have an older version, but the new newest version doesn't work for me. I don't know why, I'm sorry, but yeah, you know. So just continue, okay. And now we go into the settings tab. It will automatically go into your settings tab. And um, but before it does that, when you just click on Rage Plugin Hook, it will show up all that what you have installed um, to make sure that you have everything. And if something is lighting up red, you have to install it. It's just go into Google and then search for the thing there that is red. So now I have it here, continue without updating. You don't have to do it, but you know, I have, I need this older version, otherwise I can't play a lot of R. So just click okay, and then you come in here. So in general, don't do anything. The console key, you can change it if you want, but um, I, I just leave it on it for, and um, yeah, that's actually it. Just leave it like it is. And then go to plugins. Okay, you actually don't need this, but just say load all plugins and start up. So when, once you then have installed some plugins in the future, it will load all the plugins instead of that you have to go into the game and then load all, all the plugins in the game. So just say load all plugins and start up. Then we have advanced settings. Um, here, some of the people who are playing LSPDFR have to enable countermeasures, but um, you don't need it right now. But if your game keeps crashing, try it out, uh, it will might work. So yeah, but you don't need to do it, just only if your game crashes a lot. Okay, all right, then we have game settings and here we actually don't need anything. 
Okay, all right, now we are done with it and then you just can click on save and launch and then it will start a rage plug and hook. It will start the game. And I just have to <laughs> info, you know. Okay, all right, let's just, I just need the kind of numbers here. Uh, uh, da, 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 da. Oh, Jesus Christ. All right, here we go. So now it's gonna start GSA5 slash Rage Plugin Hook. Um, just notice if you are starting GTA 5 instead of Rage Plugin Hook, LSPDFR will not work. So when you are playing LSPDFR, you always have to open, open it up with Rage Plugin Hook. So you see it says launching the game via Steam. We just have to wait a little bit. Um, this is taking longer than usual. That's normal. Don't worry. It will work. It will work. So we just have to wait a little bit. Um, yeah. We are waiting more. Oh, jeez. Launch of phase to start. Yeah, that, that's also something that happens. But never mind. It will still work. So then this pops up. And if it pops up, you just have to click on play. You will see it in a second. Yeah. Then just click on play and then... No, don't worry. It all works. It all works. It's just doing it. I don't know why, but just click on OK. So now it will start a rage plug and hook. And we have to wait more. Ah, Jesus Christ. All that long waiting. All right. If this doesn't pop up when you start rage plug and hook, then something... You, you forgot to install something or you didn't start it with with a uh, rage plugin hook so remember start it with rage plugin hook as i sh showed you in uh, the main fold of gta 5 don't start gta 5 via steam open it with rage plugin hook okay otherwise it will not work so now it will load all the plugins that i have i've installed a lot of plugins so you will see it in a second after that now it should come up uh please Show it to the viewers. Oh god. Oh yeah, there you see loaded plugin, cup holster, and a lot of other stuff. There's coming more and more. I have a lot of mods so or plugins. So um yeah. So we just wait for it until it's done. So now we are in the game and I will just go outside of Michael's house. Here we go. And as you can see on the map, you can see that we have uh, a few police stations the shield with the star and yeah th these are the police stations so if we just press escape you can see them here on the map they are over all the whole map um, just go to one of these police stations and then you can customize your cop and then you can choose the car you want to drive in if the police stations not are shown up on the map, press F4, then this console will show up and then type in load, plugin, lspd, first response dll, and it will load up. Here we go. And now the police station, sta stations uh, should have been, yeah, should uh, be shown on the, uh, on the map. So yeah. That's it, just drive to one of the police stations and then you can play as a cop and enjoy LSPDFR. If you want a video on how to install plugins, callouts, whatever, write it in the comments and then I will might make a video about it. And um, yeah, please leave a like and subscribe. Adios, amigos.